Okay, okay, Commodore Jeff Zambello, James P. Madonna here at Royal Hibachi Buffet, Route 46 West, Saddlebrook, New Jersey. Let's see what I have in store for myself here. I do not see any duck. No, no succulent duck. Uh, let me see if, let me see if the crab soup is here. Oh, look at this. Shrimp, shrimp and crab soup. Look at that. Shrimp and crab soup combination. Oh my God. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the, the, the clam, the baby clam, the cocktail clam, oh. or, you know, I can put, first I'll have the no, May farm with seafood. Hey. And then the, this is my favorite. This is my favorite sign here. People, look, please do not touch with your hand. This is my favorite sign. And, and they have one by the ice cream now because my friend here made sure that they have one by the ice cream all the all the chubby little boys that, put, that tried to climb inside the ice cream beautiful beautiful all right but let me first things first we scope out the area we got lo mein noodles uh, here's the chinese section all right let me see what we got. There he is, the king, the king. The king of everything. Sushi and Mongolian barbecue. There he is. He does everything. He does everything. Wow. Oh, wait a minute. Look at this. You know what? Okay, I'm back. Um, I just want to say happy Dragon Boat Festival for all um, Chinese people throughout the world. I love the beautiful photos with all the uh, multicolored lights on the gorgeous dragon boats. Look it up on YouTube, you will see them. It's beautiful. It's, it's really uh, a scene to behold. So happy dragon boat festival to uh, all Chinese people throughout the world from the Facebook group, Everything is Food and James P. Madonna, yours truly from uh, Progressive Discussions and Mega Life 21. Okay, now, what do we have here? Codfish. Should I get cockles and cod, Commodore Jeff Sambello? You know what? That's what I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put the um, angel hair, um, Mayfoon rice noodles on the plate to celebrate the Dragon Ball Festival. And then I have the succulent cod, and I'm gonna put the cockle clams. Um, that I'll deal with later. I'll put the cockle clams over the bed of Mayfoon rice noodles, and I'll call it cod and cockles. Or cockles, no, cockles and cod. So then, look at that, beautiful. Beautiful scrod cut, our catch of the day. Beautiful scrod cut. All right, now what I'm going to do is what I'm going to do is what I just said. But I really, I'm definitely going to have um, a cockles and shrimp and crab soup. There's no doubt about that. And you people better understand. I hope you remember what. What James P. Madonna told you in the past, always stir up the bottom. Anytime you scoop any kind of soup, always stir the bottom because gravity causes all the morsels and vegetables to, to go to the bottom. All right, you jabronis? I want to give a shout out to the um, Exorcist Bishop, my buddy, the Exorcist Bishop from the uh, famous show Ghost Adventures on the Travel Channel. Okay. I want to tip my hat to him because he is a great chef um, in his own right, especially barbecue. He specializes in barbecue meats, low and slow, the way you're supposed to do it. Yes, nice people. You're right, he's absolutely right. The guy said nice people, and he's absolutely right. Okay, now. Okay, now. 
cod and cockles. No, I'm sorry, cockles and cod. All right, now, they should really have a spoon with holes in it, Commodore Jeff Van Bell. They really should. All right, here we go. Cockles. I just have to be careful how I carry this. Hi, your arms don't swing so far anymore. Good, good for you. That's why I'm only when I'm hurrying. I know, your arms go like a helicopter. <laughs> Just busting her chops. Actually, my waitress from Chengdu, China, brought me some uh, limes. But I think I do need to get more because that's not sufficient. Um. All right. Yeah, she was right. Just limes, no lemons. But I do need to take a um, um, nice photograph. Well, at least one. Okay, and in honor of uh, my friend of, uh, outside of Shanghai, China, Shirley, my old longtime friend. I am visiting the ice cream station. Here you go. Please do not touch with your hands. And that includes all the, the fat little boys that tried to climb inside here. And here's the ice cream. And sorbet too. I don't see chocolate. What the hell happened to the chocolate? Yeah, what happened to the chocolate? Oh my goodness, what, they ran out of chocolate? Near the squash? So grilled squash, cauliflower, American hot dog? Eh, I don't know. Here's uh, mild chicken wings. For the very best in buffalo hot chicken wings for your next uh, sporting events party at home by Royal Hibachi Buffet hot buffalo chicken wings to go. You can buy it in bulk to go and bring it home to your sporting events party regardless what sport it is. The ver for the very best. And here we have uh, the other side. Could be anything. Could be soccer. Could be baseball, football, basketball, uh, mixed martial arts, professional wrestling. It doesn't matter. Any pay per view, come and get it. Oh, look what we have now. We have deep fried shrimp with coconut batter. Okay. James B. Madonna here. Royal Hibachi. Grill, Route 46 West, Saddlebrook, New Jersey. Look at this guy. Look at this guy, the king, the king of Mon Mongolian barbecue, the king. Beautiful, beautiful. How you been? I'm happy you're, you're, you're a chef, you're a chef now. Very good, very good. Look at that. Cooking that beef. Got some shrimp going there. Mm. 
All right, wonderful. The vapors of life. The vapors of life. Look at that, look at that. Commodore Jeff Zambello, look at that. Succulent. Very succulent. Ah. Very hot outside, so there's a good chance that people will be grouchy. I know he marinates his meat to uh, divine tenderness. If we have chicken breast. Onions and tomatoes over. Here we have roast chicken. You know what? I'd say this is camera worthy. Okay. I think I'm gonna get some. Uh, I'm gonna get some chicken, chicken wing. No, you know what I'm gonna get? A little serpent turf. We got the lamb ribs, and I'm gonna get some coconut battered shrimp. And how do I know it's coconut battered? Well, let's take a look. Oh, it's coconut battered, all right. Delicious, too. Butterfly shrimp. My, my, uh, one of my friends, one of my crazy friends from the golden age of disco that I used to go out to clubs with, Tony used to call it fantail. Fantail shrimp. Well, he was referring to something else when he talked about that this. I've never had the coconut battered shrimp until, until recently. Not recently, but you know, within the past uh, few years, I would say. Which, in my lifetime, could be considered recently. Here we go, lamb ribs, coconut battered, butterfly shrimp. And after this, I most likely would get the um, shrimp and crab soup. Most likely. And uh, no, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab some mangoes after this. Okay, since I am not going to disturb these work, these beautiful works of art. I can't bring myself to disturb him. I'm going to have this spicy tuna roll. Because it, it's not too artistic.
No, no unagi today. Eel, roasted eel, un unagi. Yeah, don't worry about it if you don't have it. Next time. The soy sauce. Of course, I'm gonna stir the wasabi in it. Uh, don't worry about it. Hey. I think I already, yeah, I already got a photo of this, but I'll tell you one thing. Uh, now I get it closer. Okay, now I am going to partake in some uh, shrimp and crab soup. Excuse me. Let me get a shrimp and crab color. There we go. Color coordination. Right. Okay, people, always stir the bottom. Make sure you stir the bottom. Always stir, always stir the bottom. Because of gravity, all the good stuff goes to the bottom. See? See? Told you I was right. I'm right 99.99999% of the time. Shrimp and crab, shrimp and crab soup. Spicy tuna roll with shrimp and crab soup. All right. Now let me try to get to the table safely. We definitely got some works of art at the sushi section, without a doubt. Definitely got works of art going. This soup looks really good. All right. Okay, now it's to the end of my lunch buffet for the beginning of um, June 2019. Happy Dragon Boat Festival to all Chinese people uh, worldwide. Okay. Because it's so hot and humid out, I, I am debating whether to get the uh, rainbow sorbet or chocolate chip mint. I think I'm gonna go with chocolate chip mints as a refreshing flavor. Okay. See, Commodore Jeff Zambello knows why I use the uh, the small spoon and not the uh, and not that. Even though I am happy that there is moving water. In the receptacle. Yeah, put little guppies in there. I have a fish pond, right? Interesting. Little guppies. Guppies, goopies. Judge Jambello. But I am happy that I uh, was able to take some very artistic photos of the sushi. Excellent, excellent. I think they're artistic uh, works of art. I mean, their, their artistic abilities are improving with every week that I come here. Strawberry, orange sorbet, vanilla ice cream. There's no fatty arbuckles here, Jeff Zambella, so everything looks good. Coffee ice cream, excellent for making Kahlua milkshakes. Kahlua, of course, is a coffee liqueur from Mexico. Okay. 
No flan. I don't see no flan. No. I did forget the mango. Let me see if they, they have the mango slices that I prefer. No, they only have... Mm, mostly the ones with this, the hairy seed in the middle. And then I have to pick the, the fibers from uh, in between my teeth. All right, well, we do have a photo opportunity here. Okay. This has been a Mega Life 21 production.